Hey peeps, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be talking you through or showing you my very first time working with knit fabrics. And the lovely people at Girl Charlie very kindly gifted me um, two meters of this amazing gray, um, charcoal gray cotton spandex with four way stretch. They also gifted me two meters of this beautiful lightweight white French terry, which um, I just fell in love with. They also sent me a swatch pack which detailed what each type of knit fabric is. It was um, a, re a 10 centimeter square swatch of each fabric um, so that you could see the kind of properties that the fabrics have and the feel and the amount of stretch that they have. Um, so yeah, it was um, a really useful tool for uh, kind of trying to work out what I was going to order to make the patterns that I wanted to make. So the first pattern I wanted to make was the Seamwork Astoria and that was going to be paired with the uh, charcoal grey four-way stretch cotton spandex and then I wanted to make the sew over it cowl neck top uh, and that was going to be with the French terry. Uh, so yeah, have a look and see how I got on. In using your overlocker for the first time, make sure to read your instruction book thoroughly so that you know, or can at least pretend you know, what you're doing. Plugging it in will also help. If you have a photographer boyfriend, artistic shots like this will be insisted upon. Make sure to open up every single piece of the machine, again, so you can pretend that you know what you're talking about. Having read the manual thoroughly, especially the threading procedure, just tie a knot in the old thread with your new thread and pull it through. It's a top tip for a reason. And despite what this looks like, actually very, very easy. Honest. Now it's time to test your machine. More arty shots from said photographer boyfriend. Go oh, look at that upper looper go. Once you've tested your stitch and made sure that everything is lying right and looks exactly how you want it to, it's actually time to sew. But don't get so overexcited by your new toy to, and forget to actually check the instructions on the pattern and sew the wrong seam allowance. Just because it cuts fabric off doesn't mean that you have to do it every time. So the first thing that I got finished was the um, sew over it cowl neck top and I only had baby blue overlocker thread for some reason I had in my head that I had four cones of white and I totally didn't or I did I only had two left though so I kind of thought well do I want to wait or do I want to power through and I powered through and you can't really see the baby blue um under the white although it is fairly see-through um but I'm definitely going to, I'm calling this a wearable muslin. Um, it's amazing, I love it, but the um, pattern is way too tight on my hips. I can definitely wear this when I tuck it into skirts and stuff, which I will show you down here, but it is, um, to, it's not uh, loose enough for me to drape over kind of jeans and that kind of stuff, which is what I really want it for. So I will be making another one. And thank goodness that they've sent me two meters of this fabric because I will have enough to make another one. Uh, yeah, I, I love it though. Uh, it's really soft, it's super drapey, it's a great laying piece and I love this shape. So definitely be making some more of these. The next one was definitely more successful, um, although I have made two of this as well. Again, thank goodness that Girl Charlie were kind and sent me two meters of this fabric. Um, again, I only had the baby blue um, overlocker thread, so that's what the insides are, are all made of. Now, the first time I cut this out, um, I went to sew it and I was so excited by the fact that my overlocker cuts fabric at the same time that I totally didn't read the instructions, uh, which called for a 3 eighths of an inch seam allowance and I sewed it all with a 5 eighths of a seam, 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. And as I'd gone for the size small with the extra small of the waist, yeah, it was tiny. Um, but it worked out quite well because I've, I've lengthened this by um, two inches, which I definitely needed to do um, I've made another one out of scuba and that's only got two way stretch, uh, one way stretch across, uh, on the cross grain. No, yes, on the cross grain. And that one sits perfectly on my waist. This one is maybe a little bit too long for me. I'll insert some clips down here of me wearing it. Um, but I don't mind that. Um, but for four way stretches, I think I will reduce the length by an inch. Um, but I love that I, I love the extra length in the sleeves. I didn't like the um, finish on the sleeves that the original pattern called for, so I just added some cuffs as I really liked the way that that looked on the waistband. 
And um, so yeah, when I was sewing the original one, um, I'd gotten the whole body together, kind of ignored the sleeves because I didn't want to hem those because I don't ha didn't have a twin needle, don't have a cover stitch machine, totally want one of those. Um, so I went to sew on the neckband and didn't stretch it out enough, so I ended up with a little hole in the neckband, which I was going to unpick, and then I realised that I'd made the mistake with the seam allowance, so I thought, nope, just start again. And I had enough left from two metres to cut out another one of these. The only thing I had to do was cut out one of the sleeves on the cross grain rather than on the straight grain, um, but as it's four-way stretch, that worked fine. Um, yeah, I would show you, I would be wearing this now to kind of talk about it, but um, summer seems to have hit, it's absolutely baking here, and um, my house is like a greenhouse at the best of times, so if I put this on I think I might actually die, but as I said, I've included clips down there of me wearing it so you can see what it looks like. I love these, um, I love the fabrics as well, the quality was amazing, um, they were very easy to work with, I have no idea why I've put off working with knits for so long, um, and the lovely people at Girl Charlie have also given me a discount code to pass on to you guys, so if at any of your orders, um, make sure to use the code KITTENISH16 for 16% off. There will definitely be more knits in my future, um, as you will have seen in my, as you will see tomorrow in my February makes, I've made a few more and there was definitely some more coming up in my March sewing plans, so keep an eye out for that. Um, I really hope you've enjoyed this video, if you have please give it a thumbs up, if you haven't yet please subscribe and I will see you again very soon. Bye!